Keenan here. So I just finished doing speed and distance testing with the iPhone 15 Pro. Now the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max both support Wi-Fi 6E. So the Wi-Fi is running on a separate band at six gigahertz. As Apple said, this gives you a serious speed boost. So the other big change on the iPhone 15 is it has a USB C port and on the Pro and the Pro Max it's full speed 10 gigabits. So I use the Cable Creations 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter to get a baseline wired. So my Xfinity maxes out around 1400 megabits per second or 1.4 gig on wired and I've tested this on wired workstations. When I ran a speedtest.net on the wired iPhone 15 Pro I got 1.4 gig so it's pretty much the same as a workstation's getting. Next, I tested the wired iPhone with iPerf, and I got 2.3 gigabits per second, which is also pretty much the same as you'd get on a workstation. Next, I did some close range Wi-Fi 6E speed testing. So I used the Ingenious ECW336 and the Ruckus R760. These are both tri-band 4x4 Wi-Fi 6E access points. At 10 feet range, I got about 1400 megabits per second on each one of these in separate tests. When I ran iPerf at close range, I got about 1.5 gigabits per second, a little bit more on the R760. Then I did some distance testing. So with Wi-Fi 6E, the signal doesn't cover quite as long distance as with five gigahertz or 2.4. I usually test at 50 feet, but with 6E, I'm gonna test at 40 feet because the signal doesn't carry that far. In general, you'll probably need 25 to 30% more access points if you want full six gigahertz coverage for Wi-Fi 6E. So at 40 feet, I tested on both access points and I got about 330, 350 megabits per second with speed test. With the Ingenious 336 on iPerf, I got about 450 megabits per second and a little bit less with the Ruckus R760. So in conclusion, the Wi-Fi 6E on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max is really fast. It's going to open up a lot of different applications. It's going to make streaming faster, downloads faster, and I think we'll see a lot of new uses for this fast speed. Both the Ingenious ECW336 and the Ruckus R760 are great Wi-Fi 6E access points. You don't need to blanket your entire area with Wi-Fi 6E. If you're not doing a new install, you could just add some into office areas where you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, high speed work. Now you will need a multi gigabit switch like the Ingenious ECS 2510FP. There you go, there's my first look at the Wi-Fi speed testing on the iPhone 15 Pro. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos on Wi-Fi and tech products. And let me know if you're planning a Wi-Fi 6E install, I can help you with that.